Hi, I'm Ryan Szymanski, curator for Battleship New Jersey Museum and Memorial. Today, we are in the IC switch room to answer a question uh, that we got from a viewer of uh, what do I think is the safest space on the ship or what, do I, what space would I want to be in in a battle? Uh, so I put a lot of thought into this and I chose the IC switch room. Uh, this space is not the best armored space on the ship, but it is an important space that has to be manned. And it's got a couple other things going for it. Uh, but before I talk about all that, let's talk about some of the best armored parts of the ship. The thickest single piece of armor plate on the whole vessel is the conning tower. That's 17.3 inches thick. So the, the quartermaster and the commanding officer, whoever's up there in combat has the most armor uh, in a single sheet, at least, between them and the enemy. The problem is there's no depth to that. If a battleship-sized projectile comes through the window and impacts that armor, it probably won't penetrate it, but that's still a tremendous amount of force being exerted against that in a space that's even smaller than this one. Uh, so there is much debate about whether the crew inside would actually survive, and many ships by World War II uh, had deleted an armored conning tower entirely. That also has the benefit of being above water. So if the ship does start to sink catastrophically, you've got a good chance of getting out, except you've got a 3,800 pound door between you and the exit. It normally has an electro-hydraulic motor to open and shut it, but if the ship is sinking, you probably don't have electrical power. There is a hand crank backup but oh my God, does that take a while to crank that thing open. Uh, so I don't trust my luck in the armored conning tower. With even thicker armor than that, albeit in multiple places, the 16 inch gun turrets are pretty well protected. They've got a 17 inch faceplate mounted on a two and a half inch backer plate with concrete in between. So it's not quite as much in one plate as the 17.3 inch conning tower, but it's got all of that depth on it. Uh, in addition, there's armor on the sides, the back, the roof, uh, even the underside of it in case a shell misses, hits the deck and explodes upwards. Uh, so you've got all sorts of armored protection in there. Again, there aren't many ways in and out. There's a single armored door at the back that you can drop out of and uh, you can climb all the way down a ladder five stories into the bottom of the ship and escape that way if say a fire under the turret prevents you from getting out the normal way. Uh, I don't really love those odds. Uh, plus, you're in a space that's handling uh, explosives. So if something does penetrate, probably everyone in that turret goes. We see that uh, often in engagements like Jutland, uh, or you could even have an accident in peacetime. There is very little subdivision inside that turret that would prevent an explosion in one part of it from spreading to the rest of the turret. So I, I don't entirely like that one. Um, one of my coworkers said that they would just like to be like in the area of the wardroom on the main deck. And that's all well and good. Um, you can very easily evacuate the ship. The wardroom has a battle dressing station in it with at least a hospital corpsman there. So that's a good place to be except that there's practically no armor plating on the superstructure. And uh, oftentimes the superstructures get shot up badly. Check out this battle damage report of South Dakota after her engagement off Guadalcanal in November of 42. Uh, most of those hits go into the superstructure and explode and cause shrapnel damage to spread through the rest of the superstructure. So, even though enemies are probably aiming for your hull with their heavy shells, they're often aiming for the, your superstructure with all of their lighter shells that can't penetrate your armor. So I don't really like the unarmored parts of the ship, even though the wardroom has multiple ways in and out, you've got medical personnel there, and you're on the main deck to quickly evacuate. Other people suggest that if they're down in, say, an engine room or a powder magazine, one, they're inside the armored citadel. Two, they're as low in the ship as possible. So enemy shells likely aren't getting them there. Except if there's an, 
uh, an underwater explosion like a torpedo, those spaces fill up fast. If uh, the ship does have a catastrophic wrecking event, let's say uh, something like HMS Hood, those guys are almost certainly not going to be able to climb out in time to abandon ship because they're all the way in the bottom. We have done a video where the camera follows me going up an escape trunk in the engine room and getting off the ship to show how long that would take. And we got a clip of that footage going now, but there's a, a link in the description if you'd like to see that full video. It's worth pointing out that ships that do blow up catastrophically, uh, like HMS Hood, their survivors tended to be up in the superstructure. Uh, so signalman Ted Briggs is pretty high in the superstructure, and the way he tells the story, it, or the way he used to tell the story, uh, made it sound like the officer stepped out of the way, he walked out the door and could basically walk into the ocean uh, from that platform as the ship is rapidly breaking in half and sinking. Uh, however, you are still pretty badly exposed up there. Uh, so, for example, the spotting top was hit by an eight inch shell from Prince Eugen and likely everyone up there was killed prior to the ship sinking. Uh, likewise, the folks manning the secondary battery guns um, on the boat deck area were likely killed or incapacitated when shells hit that area and set off ready service ammunition causing a fire. Uh, so, being out on the main deck, near the main deck, in the superstructure, or high up uh, in the superstructure gives you very little actual protection uh, and means that if that golden BB comes with your name on it, there's nothing to protect you. So uh, my preferred space, again, is here in the IC switch room. Uh, so there's a link to the ship's booklet of general plans down below. You can look this space up. Uh, we, we've got a little cutaway of it here in the video that you can check out. But this is where internal communications are fed from. So it's a critical space, which means it's down in the armored citadel. Uh, so we're in the armored part of the ship here, which means we've got the 12-inch belt on each side with the multiple layers of steel and fuel and everything else around them, uh, as well as we're not all the way in the bottom of the ship. We're on third deck. So we're roughly at waterline level. If the ship starts to catastrophically sink, uh, there is only one door into and out of this space, which I don't love, but right outside of that door is a ladder that takes you up two stories to the wardroom where you can escape. Also, the reason I chose this particular uh, space is it is just aft of sick bay. So if I'm in here and I do get wounded or injure myself with all this electrical equipment, um, I can very easily be taken to the doctors in sick bay from here. Also, another thing that uh, makes this a great space. Because of the electronics equipment, it has really tremendous ventilation in here, uh, particularly air conditioning. So unlike, say, being in uh, some of the other parts of the ship down here when everything gets buttoned up, uh, you're in the South Pacific and it starts to get really hot and you're passing ammunition around, you get heat exhaustion, that's not gonna happen to me in here. A final consideration is one of your 10 commandments of damage control. Trust your ship's ability to take damage. Obviously, somebody in the superstructure is more likely to make it out if there's a catastrophic wrecking event, but I trust that an Iowa-class battleship will not suffer a catastrophic wrecking event. Uh, and so here, I have the best combination of armor protection if there are hits in my area, but also a fast egress if I do have to evacuate the ship. Uh, and it's worth pointing out, evacuating the ship doesn't necessarily mean that um, the ship is sinking. Oftentimes you have to evacuate spaces because they start to fill up with smoke or uh, they get too hot because there's a fire on the other side of a bulkhead or something like that. Uh, and I feel like this space gives me a decent chance of evacuating to safety. Go through the booklet of general plans and figure out what space you think would be the safest one on board. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment section down below. Battleship New Jersey receives operating support from the New Jersey Department of State, also from a number of other businesses and private individuals like yourselves. We really appreciate your support. There's a link in the description below if you'd like to continue 
uh, donating to support the museum and our channel. You can also support us by liking, sharing, and subscribing so more people find out about the museum. Thanks for watching.